Now we're inside the setup screen. We go to System Info. Under System Info, we're going to look for FADEC 912IS Sport. This is where the errors will be listed uh, as they occur. Now, if you have an error on the aircraft, the lane lights under lane switch A and lane switch B will flash or stay steady. There's a description of these error codes within the POH. I'm going to replicate an error by disconnecting EGT probe to number two. To easily mimic an error on the Rotax 912 ECU system, we can disconnect the EGT probe number two. You'll see EGT probe number two on the wire here. That's where it's marked. This is on the left-hand side of the engine. And to disconnect the probe, there's a wire on the connector. I want to depress that and pull backwards. That disconnects the probe. You should see an error show up on the display. As you can see, cylinder number two EGT sensor fault has appeared underneath the FADEC menu on the device list. We also have a flashing lane A fault since the EGT number two probe is one of the sensors connected to the lane A computer. I'm going to plug that probe back in to reinsert, press that back together, slip it back in place, and make sure that it's fully clipped back into place and will not pull off. The, I've now reconnected the EGT probe and this lane A fault light continues to flash. So even though I've corrected the error, we still have an error shown here. To get that to go away, I need to cycle the computer. So I'm going to turn off lane A. That turns off the power to computer A. Uh, wait for a moment. Turn it back on. You can see that the fault has disappeared from the fault menu and the light has gone out. So just remember, even though you correct an error, uh, cycle the computers, bring them back on, and check your error codes once again. Now that we have the faults cleared from the menu, it's good to point out that with this system in place, the ability to go inside the EFA system and see what the faults actually mean, uh, there's no need for a BUDS uh, system. That's a plug-in dongle that you can purchase for maintenance uh, on the 912IS and underneath the panel on the right hand side there is a 9-pin D-sub connector to connect a BUDS maintenance dongle. Uh, that maintenance dongle is somewhat confusing and uh, difficult to use. This is a simplistic system the bud system is six to eight hundred dollars at least, and of course this comes with the aircraft. For owners and even for light maintenance for most mechanics, this will provide enough information and there will be no needs to buy the bud's dongle system. This is the Skyview HDX system, and we're going to show today how to display error codes from the Rotax 912 IS ECU system. The benefit of the HDX system is you don't have to go inside the setup menu. You can display them uh, just from the regular menu system. So we hit menu, engine tools, faults, and as you see we have no faults right now. What I'm going to do is disconnect EGT number two and we'll see that fault appear. I've now disconnected EGT number two. We see that show up in the fault menu. Correspondingly, over on the lane A switch, we see the lane A fault light flashing. You can see these fault error codes within the POH. There's a table that gives you an explanation. And if you're sitting in the run-up area, you see a fault light flashing, you may not want to know may want to know what that fault light is and you can either go to your POH or more conveniently you can do what we just did go under the menu system and see that fault right there I'm going to reset that EGT right now plug it back in so I've plugged the EGT back in you'll notice this lane fault light is still flashing 
To get that to go away, we need to recycle computer A. So I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on. All the faults have went away. Here we see the Buds dongle. This system is USB powered. I plugged it into the laptop. I'm gonna now insert the system into the Buds or the port underneath the F-1202B. We're looking at the BUDS viewer, we've already showed you how to plug the viewer in. There's two software uh, programs that are installed on your laptop. One is the BUDS log viewer, but the main program is BUDS aircraft, in this case version 2.4. Start that. I'll open up the program. After a short boot period, we should see the main diagnostic screen. So this is the diagnostic screen. It's going to show you all the engine parameters. The one thing that's missing here is fuel pressure because that goes directly to the EFIS system. The one thing that this will show you that isn't shown on the EFIS system is the temperature of the manifold, um, which really isn't important. It's good to remember though that in this system, everything here is already displayed in the EFIS system, so there's really no need to use the BUDS viewer.